Also, how much of all of this is runoff into the reservoirs? KPX 5's Devin Feely got a snapshot of the water supply heading into this series of storms. As far as what we've seen, it really is just a drop in the bucket for the drought. The rain, when it came, was drenching and welcome and much needed. But after being starved for it for four years now, no single storm was going to end the drought. It's been great seeing the rain, and, and you know, every little drop helps for us. But right now, really, we're just saturating the ground. And then once the ground's saturated, then the, the storms that come after that, then that runoff makes it to our reservoirs. For the Santa Clara Valley Water District, it's 10 reservoirs are the most visible measure of the impact of our prolonged drought. This was Lexington Reservoir midweek during the calm before this weekend's storms. Lexington is just over a third full and will need many more storms before it's anywhere close to capacity. We'd love to see a wet pattern like this. You know, the storms are beneficial. They're, they're big, but they're not too big where they would cause flooding. So these are really great storms for us, but we need to see a lot of them all the way through May. We would love to see storms like this. Matt Keller says the good news is after a sluggish start to calls to conserve water, people are finally cutting back consistently. Usage was down 16% in October. So we're seeing people save water and conserve water. They're doing a good job. All we're asking for now as we head into these, these winter months, you know, you see rain outside, turn off your irrigation, make sure that you're not watering your lawns, and then do all you can to save indoors. Sound advice with the region still recovering from years of drought. In San Jose, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.